Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 29 of the Personal Project Podcast. Um, so this is a podcast where I, Katie Arrington, a life coach and artist, I talk about my personal growth um, because I have struggled for so long with self-loathing, depression, anxiety, the works, you know, low confidence with my art, all of that stuff. Um, and this is my weekly update on what I'm doing to create a better life for myself and to take care of my mental health. So welcome. Welcome to anyone that's new or anyone that's returning. I've been feeling so good about content again, and I'm doing it on time right now, which is amazing. And, you know, I was really holding myself back the last couple weeks, the last few months, I think, too, because I had so much shame about not being perfect, you know, like based on last week, it was like, you know, I was supposed to do things the right way, all this kind of stuff, and just really afraid to share um, that struggle. But now it's great because I found out that it's actually very, very helpful for you guys to hear my struggles and then the solutions to it, um, which, you know, encourages me to not be ashamed of the struggles and then to find solutions, right, so that I can share it with you. So this is a really awesome, mutually beneficial relationship here. So one of the other things that I noticed last week about my myself that was really messing me up when it came to like, you know, I was really struggling last week with getting out this podcast or just writing content in general. And I realized that it's because there's, I was really tolerating problems. I was experiencing a lot of dread and not about the podcast, but about some other problems that also rose. But at the time, I didn't think about this dread or this problem like it was a problem that had a solution. I just tolerated it. Like I just I just experienced it and then kind of just spun in my head about it, which as you know, if you've heard me enough times, a huge reason why we procrastinate is because we're experiencing negative emotion and we would much rather feel better by talking to friends or watching YouTube or literally doing anything else like staring at the wall. <laughs> so I was full on avoiding this dread. And I didn't, again, I didn't know this at the time. It was more like after I had like a reflection of like, why the hell was my procrastination so particularly bad this day? And it was because there was a social thing happening that night that I really, really didn't want to do. And for a while, I knew I didn't want to do it, but again, I just tolerated it. It was kind of like this thing that is happening or there or something. And I just kind of kept it out of my mind um, until the day came and then I couldn't really ignore it anymore. And I was dreading this, ex this event so much that like I just, yeah, I just did anything I could to feel better. So this social thing was one example of like a problem that kind of came up, but little things throughout my work comes up as a problem. And then I kind of just swat it away, kind of like not think about it because I just feel or think that I don't have time to deal with it, you know, when it comes up. I, and then when it comes up, I just think like, oh my God, I'm a complete mess, like, which makes me feel chaotic when I think that. So I deal with things even less, right? But when I zoom out, when I zoom out of my life, uh, on my life, and I look at things like as a whole, I have never been more organized in my life. I mean, my Google Drive and Dropbox folders are super clear and tidy. I have like such a clear process when it comes to my videos and my content and all that stuff. I'm using a calendar, which has been the best decision I've ever made in my life is to really use a calendar. I have a budget, I track my finances, but you know, as you know, my brain and all of our brain loves to tell me that I am not doing enough. Uh, so my teacher, Brooke Castillo, who I mention all the time, I think I mention her in like every podcast, which there is a reason for that. Um, we have an abundance of information in the world and I constrain myself to main to to two main podcasts two main teachers that i always listen to and i re-listen to instead of looking for new ones like i just absorb and like deepen the information into my brain and like hear it differently and all that kind of stuff and this gives me so much relief and focus anyway 
Brooke from the Life Coach School podcast recently has a new podcast episode um, on her podcast called Super Thinking. And it is real good, y'all. Like, I highly recommend listening to this episode, Super Thinking. It's so good. I've, I've mentioned before that she works three half days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And she's running like a legit business, you know? So she has Tuesdays and Thursdays off, but she talks in that episode about how she spends a lot of time thinking about her business on Tuesday and Thursday, on the days that she has off, the days that she's not producing anything. Those like thinking times, she asks her own mind questions and and listens to the answers and writes down her ideas about the problems in her business or just like ideas for her business, thinking about how to make things better or just how to solve the solution and permanently, right? Not just deal with it. And I think that's fascinating. Um, And my favorite quote from one of that, it's not exactly her quote, but it's something like, Um, super thinking is the opposite of indulging in confusion or indecision because truly you guys confusion is a lie and really hear me out on this because this is what I've noticed has been coming up a lot recently in the breakthrough calls the last three I've done has was almost identical like people really feeling like they are stuck or lost or unsure and you know confusion seems very true in the moment when we're really feeling it but it's not it really isn't if you feel stuck if you feel confused it's not because you have a lack of information or because you haven't done something before it's because you're thinking wisdom blocking motivation sucking thoughts like i don't know right i'm gonna be a parrot here again where thoughts create feelings all of our thoughts create our feelings so when you think i don't know that creates the feeling of confusion right you don't feel confused because of a circumstance where you know you you have a lack of information lack of information or you haven't done something before it's always because of this thought i don't know confusion is safe and it's much easier to be confused than to figure it out or if you really have a lack of information to then go and find it right like confusion truly has zero benefit and purpose super thinking is about asking your brain how tell me how what ideas you got brain if we did know what would we do? Or if we don't, how do we find out? Like, give me, let's, let's like, let's like put some muscle into this. What, what, instead of like always looking outside of us, there is a solution to every obstacle or problem. There really is. And finding solutions to those obstacles is seriously the path, to, the path to success. I started a book recently called Principles by Ray Dalio. And this is what he says about problems. I love this definition. Problems are like coal thrown into a locomotive engine because burning them up, inventing and implementing solutions for them, propels us forward. Let me repeat that because I think it's really, really good. Problems are like coal thrown into a locomotive engine because burning them up Inventing and implementing solutions for them propels us forward. What's like, what an amazing definition, right? Like problems are a good thing if you find solutions to them. Finding problems and not tolerating them, right? Is how you make yourself, your art, your business, your, your whatever, whatever you're working on better. Like problems are your best friends in that way, you know? Many of us, when we run into an obstacle, when we run into a problem, we think something is wrong with us or the situation, right? We kind of think that, oh my God, this is a sign that something's gone completely wrong. That is far from the truth and actually it's the opposite of the truth when there are problems when there are um obstacles it means the go what's the saying the 
This is when the going gets good, right? It means you're taking action and then problems come up. And, and so that means you are on the, you're like on the track, you're on the train ride. An obstacle doesn't mean stop. An obstacle is an opportunity. This is why there is no one path to success because everyone has a different obstacle, has different obstacles in their life. Some people have a lack of resources or like, you know, work contacts or support from family or ideal, ideal physical environment or literally anything, right? But there is always, always a solution. When we go into victim mode and think that we were just dealt a shitty hand so we are just not meant for it, we keep ourselves stuck. We're the ones that keep ourselves stuck. And, you know, that could be true, right? Like you could have really been dealt a shittier hand in life than most people or something like that. But is that really serving you to believe that and then hold on to it as a reason not to make changes for yourself? Because, yes, you can't control your environment sometimes, but you can always, always control what's happening within you. I mean, that's like seriously the most amazing thing to know that like somebody can like, you know, like somebody can control you physically. Someone could if they if they really wanted to. Right. But nobody, not a single person can control how you think it's impossible. Nobody has that power over another human being. Is it really serving you to believe that that, you know, you're you're at a disadvantage and all that kind of stuff and hold on to it as a reason to not make changes right to not find solutions to not super think and i guarantee that there have been people in similar or quote unquote worse situations who figured it out right who like who like changed their life who who got to the next level and this is not a comparison game this is not like a, oh these people are better or something like that no this is a if they can do it we can definitely too right we definitely can too. So I need to do the same thing. I need to tolerate problems less because it's just piling up in the back of my mind and it's kind of just like like building, you know, like it's, it's and then the dread kind of grows. So that means I actually need to schedule in time myself to super think. That's like what I, that's my solution to this problem is that I need to schedule time to super think and solve the problems that come up instead of like tolerating them and then kind of like do trying to dodge them or just being really reactionary. When something comes up, like when a, when a problem comes up, the first thing I think is like, ugh, <laughs> you know, like seriously, try it on. How does ugh feel? Like many of us are living in that all the time, right? Like, oh, I have to do this or, oh, that came up. Oh my God, I can't believe this. This is a problem I have to deal with. Like, oh, you know, like that thought is this, it's so short, but like really try it on. Doesn't that, how crappy does that feel? You know, and we're choosing to, f to think that. We're choosing to think, ugh. instead, now I want to be like, oh, here's a problem. So here's something that's going to go on my super thinking list when I schedule super thinking time, right? So personally, right now, I'm really excited about these super thinking sessions. I hope I gave, gave myself enough time. I'll, you know, we'll see. I'll let you know how it goes, but I'm, I'm ready to burn up some coal. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was helpful. Um, please let me know, you know, if, if this was helpful. And, and um, if you guys are watching this on your phone or if this, if this was really helpful to you, I would really, really appreciate it if you like took a screenshot um, and posted on your stories or you, you shared it on your feed somewhere. Like I would just would really, really appreciate it. And I think other people could use the help, right? Like I think the more people get help, the more we help in general, right? Like we're all just bringing each other up. If you also are interested in a personalized one-on-one -on -one help, I do free breakthrough calls and you can find a link to my calendar in the description. This is where you can get some personalized stuff, right? Like, and, and also not just personalized, but it's, I help you apply this stuff to your life. It's so much easier to feel productive just by like consuming things. It's, it's totally, oh my God, the magic is 
is in the applying. And that's what I really do is I help you actually apply this to your own life and to your own mind. So if you're interested in that, check out the link in the description. Okay, cool. Thanks guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.